I'm exhausted. I, I am. I'm exhausted. I think most of the fan base is at this point, and it's time for us to, like, actually talk about some of this stuff. Um, Matt Patricia's got to go. He does. He's got to go. He's got to be out of here. I have tried to be patient. I have tried being understanding. I've tried everything I can possibly think of to justify him staying around. And I'll be honest, like, I was I was very open-minded the first year, year and a half um, that he was around. And there's, there's no excusing it anymore. Like, Jim Caldwell was fired for leading the Lions to a 9-7 record and not making the playoffs. And... Since he's been gone, we're 921, uh, 924 and 1. Haven't looked close to competitive since, like, week 6 last season. It just... It doesn't stop with this guy. He doesn't think his own crap stinks. He's He's gotta go. You know, like, and, and, and it's to the point, it's to the point where, where I might stop cheering for the Lions. Like, I, I genuinely might stop cheering for the Lions. It's a real thing. Um, I've suffered this, with this team through 0-16, um, through the, the Jim Schwartz undisciplined era and all of the heartbreaking close losses with Jim Caldwell, but at least this team was competitive for a while. At least I felt like I could care about this team. The ownership doesn't even care about this team, man. Yesterday, I had two two friends, shoutouts shout to, to uh, Terry and Tyler. I haven't talked to these guys face-to-face -face in years. And these dudes call me up on FaceTime like, bro, you okay right now? Like, that's how bad things are getting for the Detroit football team. The Detroit Lions. It's bad. Like, Matt Patricia has to go. There's no defending him anymore. There's not. We, we can't keep suffering through this anymore. As a fan base, as a community, enough is enough. So, if he's not fired by the end of week four going into the bye week, you know, I, I understand keeping him until then. Give Daryl Bevel or whoever the interim head coach is, like, two weeks to sort out a game plan. So, like, I, I get it. He can, I, he can stay till week four. But if he's not gone week four, I'm jumping ship. I'm jumping ship. I've been cheering for the Lions for damn near 15 years. It's my team. It's my players. Like, I, I love that team. I love the city. I love the players. I can't, I can't do it anymore. I can't. I will, I will suspend my fan status for the Detroit Lions until Matt Patricia's gone if they don't fire him week four. I'll jump ship, fuck, I, you know, I'll, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be a Cardinals fan. I'll do it. Cardinals seem fun right now. They got a bunch of my favorite players. I like Kyler Murray. Larry Fitzgerald and DeAndre Hopkins are two of my three favorite wide receivers in the whole league. I'll jump ship. Yep. If, if, if Matt Patricia is not fired by week four, I will jump ship until until they get rid of him maybe permanently who knows i can't do this to myself anymore i can't i've suffered through enough for this team this whole fan base has suffered through enough for this team and at some point enough has to be enough so i i'm i'm ready Like, I, I genuinely, I'm not kidding around anymore. I will go and be a, a Cardinals fan if Matt, Matt Patricia's not gone by week four. 
We looked competitive for exactly six games in the Matt Patricia era. Which, ironically, is half as many games as the ones that he's blown in the fourth quarter. 11 blown fourth quarter losses. Like, 11 blown fourth quarter leads. Six games that we even looked competitive. So, I don't know. I don't know. I can't I can't do this anymore though. I can't keep doing this to myself. This team is a nightmare for its fans' wallets, mental health. Just all of it. It's it I can't. I saw someone trying to say that the Falcons were the the worst organization in sports on Sunday. And I was like that's only because you forgot the Detroit Lions exist. And I will say the Washington football team is probably a worse organization. Not even probably. They definitely are. Right? But the NFL actually has grounds to force that owner to sell his team. They can they can ditch that organization. Like, the NFL can ditch them. They don't really have grounds to do that with the Lions, except that they're pathetic. And I think it's interesting, like, I'm, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a Calvin Johnson jersey, which is just, like, the epitome of what the Lions do, is they waste people's time and money and do nothing with it. They took Calvin's whole career and did nothing with it. They've taken Matt Stafford's whole career and they've done nothing with it. I'm happy for Darius Slay and Quandre Diggs that they got out when they did. So that they don't have to be around for this absolute shit show this season. I'm happy for him. I genuinely am. Like, like last season, when Quandre Diggs got traded to the Seahawks, I was like, you know what? Good for him. Good for him. When Darius Slay got traded to the, to the Eagles, I was like, you know what? Good for him. Because even like last season, when it was blown lead after blown lead after blown lead, the writing was on the wall. And I was like, okay, like Stafford's out, his his back's freaking broken, right? Like I, I get it. But then it just kept happening this year. We're two games in and like, we're already like not making the playoffs. Nine and seven and missing the playoffs was unacceptable for Jim Caldwell. Why is so much worse than that acceptable for Matt Patricia? And like, a lot of people like to make fun of his appearance and you know, like, you know, all, all of that stuff, like, I, I, I don't care about that. Like, I'm, I'm not stooping to that. There's so many legitimate things that we can attack this man for that we, we don't need to resort to his appearance. You resort to attacking the appearance of people who are successful. We don't need to do that. His body of work is enough. So, if he's not gone by week four, I'm out. I'll take a season off. I'll take a season off. I'll, I'll become a Cardinals fan. At least for the rest of the season if he's not gone by week four. And that's that. That's, that's all I think I can really muster up to say about that. I can't, I can't justify it. I can't defend it. I can't, I can't defend Matt Patricia being the head coach of the Detroit Lions. I can't defend the way that that team has just imploded over the last two and a half years from being two to three plays away from a playoff berth to one of the least competitive teams in all of sports in less than two and a half years.
Yeah. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. I'll see you guys tomorrow.